Hi, Sifu Wayne here. I just wanted to let you know that you can now send me videos of your Wing Chun and your techniques and what I'll do is I will have a look at them with this technology here and I will make some comments and send them back to you and I'll show you how to improve. I asked Tony to run through the form a little bit so that we could have a look uh, have a look at it. I asked him to make a few mistakes and what I'd like to do is just go through and show you a few of the things that he's doing well and a few of the things that he's not doing well. And uh, one of the things I want to do, I'm just going to back up a little bit here. Have a look at that tuck so I'm going to back up just a wee bit here. And there we go. And what I want to do is have a look at this. I want, when he does the tuck so, I want the hand to be actually straight instead of kind of in this in this bent sort of position. So we want to fix that when we go through the form here. And these look pretty good. You'll notice when he does this pox out here, I'm gonna back that up a little bit again. You notice when he does this pox out, he's using exactly this spot here uh, on, on the bottom of his hand so it's sort of supported by his forearm here when he does the pox out goes right in as opposed to using kind of this part of the hand up here so he's getting a lot of power coming from the forearm there and that's pretty good you'll notice when we look at the feet the feet are parallel so that means he's shifted well that's something we like to see as well these look good you'll notice the punch when he punches I'm just gonna back up a little bit here you notice the punch is in a good good position and you'll notice that it went straight along the forearm there and into the center of the dummy so that looks pretty good as well a bit more bong sao is good kick and another kick one of the things i want to point out here i'm just going to back that up a little bit again one of the things that i want to point out is that this is a little bit crooked what we want to do is see the body in a nice straight line the other thing is this is just a little bit too 90 degrees for my liking what I'd like to do is see it a little bit more extended, more like the tonsa out of the form. But the rest of the kick looks okay. There was good power there. Hyun Sao, you'll notice when he came up through the middle, just go back a little bit, you'll notice when he comes up through here, he gets both elbows on the inside of the dummy arms and then does the strike. So that's pretty good. I like the, like the looks of that. This talk, so again, this double jutsu right here. When we do this jutsu, what we want to do is get the arm or get the hand, sorry, uh, pointed up a little bit so that it looks like the jutsu from the form as opposed to kind of laying flat the way he has it here. Now we'll just continue on with the form. Next part, the hewn out all looks pretty good. You'll notice that same shifting when he does the kick here, which we'll is fast forward a little bit. When he does the kick, you'll notice the accuracy right there get that heel position right on the knee of the dummy so that's a pretty good kick we like the way that looks so what i want to point out um, what i want to point out here is uh, i'm happy to take your videos and have a look at them and give you some comments about kind of what's what's uh, uh, being being done according to our system and what's kind of can be changed a little bit or needs a little bit of improvement. So I have a fair bit of, of tools, uh, a fair number of tools here as you've seen to help highlight the, the good and the bad. So uh, I just want to let you know about them, show you kind of the tool set that we have available to us and ask that if you want me to have a look at your video and give you some comments that I would be happy to do so. So I, I look forward to, to you sending me a note and, and, and your videos and I look forward to providing this service to you. Until I hear from you, thanks for watching. Bye for now.